Hi, I'm Dan Harrison and this is an instructional video of the most effective ways of placing gear. There are three types of gear you can place, natural, hand placed and static. When using the boulder as a natural gear placement, there's three things to check for. Give it a kick to make sure it's not hollow. Put your full body weight on it, make sure it doesn't move and check that it's the size of at least your body curled up. Once you've checked the boulder is okay, just loop a sling around the back of it, put it right down the back into any grooves or cracks to make sure the sling is less likely to move when there's force applied to it. When using trees as anchor points, ensure that they are alive, there's no exposed roots and that they're at least the size of your waist. Once you've looped your sling around the tree, make it more stable by just putting an overhand knot in it. And then placing your carabiner through that hole. And then you've got a much more solid point. Natural gear placements like this rock here are perfect for threading. You just loop the, the sling around the back and use your carabiner to clip it on. And now that rock is there, suitable for any sort of pull, sideways, upwards or downwards force. And always make sure when using natural anchor points that they're never loose. When placing nuts, look for tapering cracks. Place the nut ensuring as much as possible is touching the rock. Getting the right size nut is the most important factor to making them effective. See here, this nut is far too big for this crack and it just slides across the top. This one is much too small and it will just slide all the way through. Whereas this nut is the perfect size as it fits snug into the crack and it's got a lot of contact on all sides. This is a very good placement, however it can be even better by twisting the nut the other way around and pulling it down through like that and now all the sides are very close under the rock. So always consider the, the side you put the nut in on. Always remember you can put nuts in sideways on and they work just as well. When the crack isn't tapering it's a good idea to use a cam. Place it with a wide base on the bottom of the rock. In the middle third and now you've got a solid placement. When using cams use them into their middle third. Don't overextend them because it's a very weak position and don't underextend them because they can walk. Hexes, like cams, are also a good alternative for a parallel crack when nuts won't fit. Make sure whenever placing gear, you always consider the direction of force is going to be applied to each piece. So always check the gear in the direction of force that will be applied. So downward force, and notice if this is upward force, it comes straight out. For an upwards pull, for example when a B layer needs to be anchored to the ground, make sure that the force applied upwards isn't going to move the anchor point and it's solid. This is an ideal placement for a sideways pull, as it won't move at all, but upwards it will just pop straight out. Bolts can be found at the top or bottom of crags. They are often used to B lay from or to set up a top row with. Just place your carabiner through the hole. Now you can clip a sling or rope onto the carabiner to make yourself safe and ready to start bee laying. Here is an example how bolts are used to set up a top rope system. This is very similar to what you'll see in a climbing wall. And finally, here's my top tips.
Now you know how to play Skier, you can go away and start learning how to set up anchors.